everyone. This is Cindy with Cindy Incidentally. I am here today in the studio with Jay Pullman, and he is in the Kiwanis, and the Kiwanis sponsor something called the Hot Bed Classic. So he's going to be telling us about that. But first, tell us a little bit about the Kiwanis, like your mission statement sure. and how you got involved. Uh, the Kiwanis is a worldwide service organization that serves to uh, help children of the world. Um, we do that with local groups, state groups, national groups, and then internationally. Here locally, the Kiwanis Group has been around, I want to say, about 40 years. I have been involved with them the last 12 or so. Uh, we uh, have a big fundraiser each year, which is called the Hotbed Classic, mm -hmm. which is a uh, high school basketball tournament that has been running for about 25 years. Uh, that, that basketball tournament brings in talent from really across the nation, uh, top 10 talent, both team-wise and player-wise, to play uh, basketball games at the uh, middle school gym here. Uh, in the past, we've had some pretty high-ranking players. Last year, we had a player named James Wiseman, who was the number one pick for college. Uh, he uh, played at Mississippi State or University until he was uh, held back by the NCAA, and he's turned pro. Um, wow. In addition to these big name people that we get out of various uh, places in the country, we have local talent that plays New Albany, Ingemar, uh, Myrtle will play, uh, all the local teams play East Union. So you bring in high school teams, yes. right, from, well you've expanded outside of Mississippi. We have expanded now. outside of the state. We go as far north as I think this year, Virginia, Wow. Um, Cal Florida we'll pull out of, we pull out of um, Arkansas pretty regularly, Tennessee. Um, Yes. David David Goode is our talent uh, guru. Mm -hmm. He draws the talent in. We all work to support him and the teams that he has. And, so, and the, the games are played January 25th. Uh, they start at about 8 in the morning, and they go until 10 in the evening. Um, they, um, they follow most of the regular basketball rules, but they let the, let the kids get away with a little more. These, most of these kids can dunk, and they're, they're phenomenal players. Uh, so they let, them, they let them play a little more yeah. uh, for the entertainment of the crowds there. Yeah. So it's an honor for these teams to come. I bet they really look forward to it. Well, uh, in the old days, we were probably the only show in town. Yeah. Uh, lately, there's a lot more of these shows on, and we do have a really good draw. We were the first uh, probably to do it in the regionally uh, mm -hmm. in, by states. Uh, Mike Nobles had a big part in drawing the talent in, so he, he laid the foundation from BNA Bank. And then he handed the reins over it during my tenure with, uh, to David Goode, and David Goode uh, continues to bring in and improve even the talent that we have. Wow, that's wonderful. That's great. The, um, the guys that you do have, the teams that come, can are not here. yet they can yeah they get to meet different great players from other states high talent that we bring in mm -hmm. a lot of these kids are already sort of celebrities right um, in years past we have had moments where they've had times to sign autograph meet some of the children have their pictures taken um, some of these kids are pretty talented and uh, look to go far uh, it's interesting to see each year uh, the, the teams that we bring in even our local teams and then to follow them through their college careers right. and see where they go uh, to play professional which some some have That's pretty um, awesome. and the Qantas puts it on as a fundraiser uh, it's our main fundraiser of the year it's uh, ten dollars for all day uh, a lot of these tournaments now will charge eight or ten dollars a game but we continue to do uh, ten dollars to get you in all day long you can watch as much basketball as you want uh, it's high caliber basketball from you know even the local teams at 8 a.m. until uh, our bigger events which are later in the evening Right, that's awesome. Now, are you the only ones in Mississippi that has this tournament? Um, I think that there is a, a lighthouse tournament that's out of Corinth that is mm -hmm. run in November, and then I think there's smaller tournaments, uh, not um, not to our scale, and maybe Boonville or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly ours has a big draw. Teams that play at our facility continue to ask us to come back. Uh, we, we, you know, we do have certain standards we want. We want them to play with good sportsmanship and stuff. Uh, so you'll get to see good, clean, quality basketball played the right way. And, and $10 is a... Ten dollars doesn't seem too that. much when you can spend no. as much as you want. Right. We have concessions. That's where the Kiwanis makes most of our money. Uh, a lot of these teams and players, we have to pay to bring them in. We have to put them up in hotels. Wow. Uh, so there is a little expense on the front end for us, but... Uh, it's, it seems well worth it. It's, it's a only, great cause. Oh, it's a great cause. Awesome. Certainly the Qantas is a great cause. The children, our future, a great cause. Uh, it's a fantastic event. You Quality basketball. Again, I hate to keep repeating myself, but uh, you'll see some very talented players 
great opportunity. And in the our middle school gym here in New Albany, I think is one of the best places to watch basketball uh, regionally anywhere. You, you know, you're you're right on top of the stage, and it's yeah. it's a good event. That's. That's right. Um, Tell me a little bit about more about the Kiwanis and how do you join if, if someone sure, were interested? Absolutely. Um, first of all, having an interest in our children in the future would mm -hmm. be a, a good thing to have. Uh, and then just come. Uh, we have weekly meetings at uh, El Agave. They start at noon on Tuesday. Uh, show up, come to a few meetings, come for a month, see if you like it. Uh, we have educational topics there. We have speakers each week that discuss things. I, m most often they are about supporting our children in the community or interesting goings on. We had Dan Skinner just this past week talking about High Point Coffee. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll have uh, you know four we'll have team coaches we'll have it's a it's a good way to get local knowledge on uh, some yeah. items that are here um, to join it's a, a small fee each month I think it's thirty five dollars you get you you know get you a lunch every every week there at the El Agave and uh, let you be a part of Kiwanis that supports the community here locally there is service time you know the basketball tournament is the biggest time that we have to uh -huh. give in otherwise it's just a lunch Occasionally we put out flags. We also do the American flags during the major holidays. Those are set up uh, by Kiwanis, another fundraiser. So if you want a flag, please contact the Kiwanis or call El Agave. Uh, we can get you a flag in front of your business on the holidays, or you can help us join uh, the Hotbed Classic in supporting that. Uh, it's a great cause, and we'd love to have you as a member. Come out, try us out, see what you think, come back. Is Kiwanis for men only? Goodness, no. Um, we have a number of uh, ladies that are in our um, group that have been there a long time. Amy Crichton, I think, was one of the original female members. Nancy Hall was one of the original female members. Uh, we have uh, Donna Weed, uh, Amy Greer. Um, uh, yeah. Dr. Bennett was one of the first members. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on the other ladies, but there's a, certainly it's a, I wouldn't say it's 50-50, probably 40-50 ladies to men. Uh, we would love to have new female members. We'd love to have anybody that is interested in it, again, in helping out children. Um, that is, I think a lot of people should go and meet them. Sure. We'd love give, to have you as a yeah, guest. Please come right. by. You'd be welcome. Anybody who shows up, please come. Have a free meal on us. <laughs> Try it out. We'd have a couple. See what you think. See if it's something, in, um, you know, a mission that you want to serve. Yeah. And children are always a good mission. Yeah. Can you buy tickets at the door, or if you want to get them you, early, you, how do you go you about do buy, doing you, you do buy tickets at the door. Ten dollars doesn't seem too much to ask. No, it, it goes doesn't. To a good cause. And one more time, tell us the place that is and the time. It will be at the New Albany Middle School. Uh, the first game starts at 8 a.m. on January 25th. Um, there's, uh, you know, they have a, the games roll from one to the next to the next. There's halftime celebrations. There's opportunities to win money. There's uh, raffles uh, there's businesses that support uh, that support the event will show up and they'll have giveaways and uh, you know be there to talk to you about their services that they offer uh, there'll be concessions all day long that's where I tend you'll you'll see me I tend to work there quite a bit during concessions uh, we are able to get the Boy Scouts to volunteer time we have oh, that's good. you know getting food in the stands you can have popcorn brought to you it, it great event Good setting, uh, January 25th, starting at 8. Um, the, t tends to be the local schools that start first. Good games there. And then they mix in um, uh, a few of the more higher quality games. Uh, New Albany tends to be one of the premier games that they have, which they're having a good team this year. Um, get to see the you know how our team performs uh, on the main stage. Usually between you know 5 and 8 p.m., New Albany will take the field. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And so come, or if you tell your friends about it and get a lot of hot dogs, corn dogs, and Cokes yeah. <laughs> at the concessions. Uh, hamburgers, uh, the hamburgers are a good seller. Yeah, yeah good, good. And uh, enjoy yourself. So and the Let me just say, Mike, Mike Dean provides uh, popcorn. Uh, you can have popcorn at the match as well uh, from, you know, the local cine. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming in and talking Appreciate to it us about Cindy. it. Appreciate it very much, Thank yeah. you. Please come out. We'd uh, love to serve you, and have, we'll be glad to see you there. Have a lot of fun. Thank you. And this is Cindy for Hill Country Network.